Star Aries L1A1 breakdown fault. Now it says you can break it down realistically, which on the real steel involves pulling this catch and separating it like that. Now the problem is with this one is the air nozzle. There. It doesn't fit, well actually it's too big for the little slot here and results in it snapping off. You can see it goes in quite a bit or maybe not you can't see I don't know the lights a bit bad here black on black but it breaks when you do it properly which is a crock of shit so don't do that What you need to do to do it, break it, is now I've removed the stock to demonstrate something else later on. So the stock, you can take it off if you want. I have done, it's a lot easier. When you come to take it apart, don't bother with this. Don't touch it. It's dangerous. First thing you need to do is remove the magazine release clip. Now you can pop over and push the pin out. Mine's already loose so I'll just pull it out and show you. Pull the pin out. Put it somewhere safe. Remove the magazine catch. Watch out for that spring. It's quite a tough spring and will be hard to replace. Keep that safe in a tub by the side. There you go. Margarine tubs. Great. Now undo the screws again in the tub turn the weapon over now with quite a wide screwdriver if it's the first time it's been undone or coying undo this screw that's the big slotted one that goes on the side with the carry handle folds down now, once you've done that, the safest way to do this is to pull back and forward like so. That is the only way you can break the weapon open without snapping the nozzle. Now I am thinking of getting another hop up and cutting the slot bigger. to see if I can get it to break properly but really it's really annoying even with a bit of movement on the barrel the tip is too long as you can see it goes in all that way it's a stupid design fault I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why they've put a release catch on it that damages your gun. Annoying it is. Now I've got around that or, or made it so it doesn't happen accidentally if somebody fiddles with it. Reassemble your gun. Put all the screws back in. Lock it up tight. Screws, screw. Don't worry about the mag catch yet. But what you want to look for is at the back here, at the top, it's probably hard to see again because it's black on black, but there's a little grub screw which you can use with an allen key in there. You need to tighten that up reasonably tight. 
bad plan in there. Reasonably tight. It's, it's on a spring. And if you tighten up so it's stiff, and then this doesn't move. You'll feel it going quite a way before it stops and you'll hear the spring compress. Doesn't move now. That's fair enough. When you reassemble the weapon now, you can might be a bit fiddly, depends. But you can slot that in so it's underneath the clip and quite solid and won't come out. And then just reassemble with your two screws, your magazine release clip and pin and then you can put the stock back on once that's locked fire and forget leave it alone don't touch with it this is just dangerous it'll knacker your gun up it's quite simple then undo the screws remove magazine wiggle and pull and away comes your gearbox hand grip assembly that's quite solidly locked up you're not going to get nobody accidentally coming up picking your weapon up and going oh look oh dear I've broken it these gearboxes apparently are notorious for being a pain in the ass to repair if you don't know what you're doing I need a new tip for this but I'm going to have this gearbox totally reassembled and uh, upgraded anyway so I'll probably get uh, an anamillion aluminium tip or if you're an American aluminum I don't know why you pronounce it like that but new tip and like I said if I can get a new hop up to practice with to play with I'm gonna cut a little chunk out and see if I can get it to break it would be nice because it looks good you can break it open like the real one remove the slide covers play around a bit more authenticity it's just that it's just no way as you can see or maybe not it goes in a fair way before it seats so I got a feeling in my heart that it's not going to work but whatever you do do not play with that little grub screw at the top there above the big hole for the stock mounting screw crank it in wind it in lock it off forget about it it's nice to have it's a nice little feature if only it worked there you go that's somebody going for bells and whistles and not really thinking about it it's a shame it would have been a nice little touch to be able to break it open like the real steel, but tough to tease you can't. Thank you. Bye.